Today on Experts Showcase, we go to Singapore with Harry Johal, who is going to talk about selling amongst the best sellers. Three things you need to know. Harry, welcome to Expert Showcase. We are very happy to have you travel here all the way from Singapore uh, via the, the airwaves. Uh, how, how are you doing today? I'm perfectly fine, sir, and it's a pleasure for me, you know, uh, connecting from my end to your end and to appear on such a wonderful show with such a wonderful host, Dr. Mark Postman. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, the only problem with traveling this way is that I don't get to rack up any frequent flyer miles. You know, I mean, it's uh, I never <laughs> seem to leave the same location. Harry, um, help our audience get oriented here a little bit. So give us a little uh, quick overview of what we're going to cover in today's episode. Well, basically, sir, uh, as you've seen that, you know, uh, there are lots of authors and bands and, you know, who want to introduce their products to a different market like beyond a U.S., beyond, you know, European markets like in Southeast Asia. So I'm trying to introduce those products into Southeast Asia through my talk shows, Carry on Harry, and properly we are discussing their product, we are discussing the making of the product, and in that way they get a mileage in terms of introducing to a new audience. And as the market expands, they get more chances to introduce and, you know, get mileage in terms of returns uh, from their, uh, you know, uh, products. Excellent. So in, your, in the title, in the introduction, we said there are three things you need to know. So I'm going to just gonna run those down very quickly. So the three things we're going to talk about are creating awareness, expanding to a new market, and then fetch a better deal. So let's, let's take those in, in order, Harry. Um, when you're working with a, a band or an author um, and you're saying create awareness, tell me a little bit about that. How, how do you focus on that? How do you help them do that? Uh, what's, what's the goal that they need to take away from that? Correct, sir. You see, sir, whenever a new product is launched, uh, be it you know, a, by a bestseller or be it by a new uh, you know, a person who is entering the market, they really need to come to a platform where they can get you know, the audience which is expecting those, those kind of products. For example, uh, when we talk about the book authors and when they appear on my talk show Carrie and Harry what happens is that uh, we already have an existing base of you know fans who want to be introduced to those kind of new books and products so uh, for example let's say there's a book written by Dr. Mark Cosman and uh, later on Mr. Chris joins he says that Harry I want to introduce my book also so I already have a fan base of Dr. Mark with me so once Chris will making making an appearance on my talk show, what happens is he get an additional fan base. So this fan base becomes curious to know about this product, what went in making of this product. And so in that way, Chris is going to benefit that he is getting a fan following of Karen Harry talk show, of Dr. Mark Cosman, and also his own uh, you know market which is existingly you know with him. And so it's like an added advantage. Uh, the audience comes to know about the new product, mm -hmm. and with this awareness about creation of this product, you know, uh, it really benefits the authors, it really uh, benefits the, the bands because they are able to get in connection with new publishers, that they are going to meet new event organizers, so they get an opportunity to uh, visit Southeast Asia, they get opportunity to expand even to other markets where my talk shows are available because it's a global platform. We are, Everyone is coming and listening to the shows. So essentially, you you are the vehicle for that expanded awareness because you've been cultivating an audience you, with your Carry On Harry show. Your audience expects you to be bringing on guests who have books or products or a show, and they're hungry for new information or, or a, a new recommendation from you. Um, so by being on your show, you're helping to give them that exposure to a whole new, new area, right? Uh, Correct, yes. Excellent. Um, and, I, and I guess that really segues in and continues the, the conversation into your second point, which is really about expanding into a new market. So I think you were already beginning to, to talk about that. So I might have a following locally in my area, and I'm looking to expand to a whole new area. So by connecting with you, you have that Southeast Asian uh, connection that I have no way to reach unless I connect with you. Am, am I barking up the right tree here? Absolutely right, sir. Uh, in fact, I would like to add up here. Just yesterday, you know, I was exploring the local stores, and I found that you know one of my recent guests who just uh, was on my show just last week, and I was very pleased to you know surprisingly pleased to see that his books you know 
appearing in Singapore stores. So uh, it creates a lot of you know expansion for a, for for the publisher to sell his books to the new market because once the author comes and discuss about you know what is uniqueness of his book or his product, you know so the market expands. So these companies who are pub you are who are having such stores. They really contact the publishers. They really want to bring those books over, not only to Singapore, and maybe this thing is also happening in other countries where these books are, you know, getting open to the new markets. Excellent. And so you're you're just expanding awareness. You're expanding reach because uh, otherwise this person would not be able to access that that other audience that you're bringing to the table. So uh, that sounds excellent. So. Your third point, uh, you're calling fetch a better deal. So, what what are we talking about here? What, when you're speaking to you know someone with a product or an off, uh, an author or you know you mentioned bands, what do you mean by fetch a better deal? Fetching a better deal in this way, so uh, many of my authors, uh, uh, you know, once they had appeared on my show, they have uh, you know informed me that you know we got contacted by a publisher sitting in Hong Kong while their book was initially introduced in U.S. market. So this has happened a couple of times. So in that way, they, the new, with the entry of the new publishers, they are able to fetch a better deal in terms of expansion. So it's all overloaded. For, for example, sir, maybe your first book was published by a, 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 by a publisher sitting in Canada. And after listening to the show, this publisher who has heard this show uh, comes to know about your books, the success of your book, the writing of your book. Probably he could offer you a better price for your next upcoming book. So it, in that way, you know, there's a there's a better option for for a publisher uh, for a writer, you know, to get a new publisher who can offer a better price. So in that way, I say that is a you know fetching a better price. I see. Yeah, and no, I understand completely. So not only is someone reaching an audience of potential customers, let's say, but they're also reaching a, an expanded network of you know people who could facilitate their next product or their next book or their next uh, uh, recording deal, depending on the kind of person you're working with. Uh, is that right? Correct, sir. You're absolutely right. So um, you, you've mentioned a couple of times you know, authors and, and bands. Tell me just a little bit more about about your audience. I mean, uh, and, uh, about the kind of guests that you're you're frequently bringing on. Um, you know, who who do you who do you like to connect with uh, on the show? Well, sir, basically, I have not restricted myself to any specific you know uh, category of guests. It could be anybody who has got something uh, of a good message to deliver it could be a you know somebody who is a motivational speaker it could be somebody who is into you know some yoga and he can benefit my audience by giving them some tips about health of uh, mind body soul it could be somebody who's who has written like like we uh, spoke about the books and somebody who is you know launching a new uh, audio cd who is launching you know a new band or let's say somebody want to put up a show in singapore and far, far and beyond so they uh, give like, like a pre-introduction on my show that what sort of music they have been creating, what is the history behind this band, and what are the interesting elements about you know what were the ups downs. So when we talk about the ups and downs, people who are newcomers who also want to be <clears throat> you know somebody specialized in the, that kind of you know iconic personality that who we are bringing on the show. So we have got to learn a lot of things from them. You know, it's not just about selling something. I don't. Right. I really even introducing my guest at that he is selling something on my show. Basically, the personality part is something which influences the audience, and the audience feels motivated that you know they are going to learn something new from this talk show. Plus, mm -hmm. they are also going to be introduced to something which is worthwhile reading or listening to through this talk show. So it's more towards you know getting a benefit for the listener's point of view rather than just you know from from somebody who has appeared on the show and wants to you know get in connection with a new fan base. So a fan should feel fully motivated about this thing. So your audience uh, obviously has a, has very broad interest and very broad appetite. They're they're just interested in you know a broad spectrum of things that are going to be entertaining, engaging, increasing their knowledge, increasing their understanding, increasing their health. So it's not it's not it's not specific to only one particular category. You have sort of a broad spectrum. Correct, sir. And that's what I try to bring. Like, uh, for example, let's say I've been introducing the authors, but you know, a lot of authors like uh, bring forth a problem that you know that they didn't their books was rejected by ten. 15, 20 publishers. So what is the reason behind this? So I invite the publishers also on my show in order to you know make it clear to the new writers so that they can learn 
that you know what are the basic things due to which the books gets rejected so what are the things that a writer should keep in mind before you know he is introducing his book to the publisher to consider it for publishing so that way everybody learns from it be it an be it an expert or be it you know somebody who is new so everyone is gaining something from the show I love it, Harry. You're you're really using a a talk show, a, a radio talk show, as a connector for all of these different parts of the audience, and they they create synergies, uh, you know, between the guest and the audience, and vice versa. So it's fabulous. Uh, how long have you been doing this? Well, uh, Kevin Harry talk show I introduced uh, in Singapore in about three years, but before that, I had been doing uh, basically touching the Asian segment for about ten years. Excellent. All right. So it sounds like really, in terms of uh, guests that that should consider themselves uh, potential candidates to appear on on your show, it, it really is a broad range. It's uh, you know, it's it's music, it's it's art, it's health, it's uh, all kinds of things. So um, you, you're looking for a broad spectrum of guests to appear to you know be be interviewed on your show. It sounds like. Yes. In fact, uh, mm -hmm. some of the talk show hosts have also appeared on my show. They were, there's a talk show yeah. host who came from Canada also, and, and in fact, I, I I already want Dr. Mark Postman also to be coming on the show, and so that you know we feel so proud about it because after all, if you are you are introducing me to your market, there's something you know about your personality which audience will be you know wanting to know that who is Dr. Mark Postman and what is so specialized about him, what are the plus and minus about you know experiences that he has, and like what we can learn from you. And probably you know, it will be benefiting you because my audience would also like to know about your guests, and at the same time, my guests would also love to know more about you know making an appearance on a show like your one, sir. Excellent. Well, and you've already had Chris uh, Chris Sprague, who will be joining us in the behind the episode segment uh, shortly. So uh, he has already preceded the way, and uh, you know, so it, uh, we wouldn't be here if uh, if you guys had not already connected. So it's uh, you're you're continuing your work as a connector. Well, Harry, I'm going to wrap us up at this point. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, I don't often get to connect with people in Singapore, but let me just uh, review uh, just for the audience's sake, and then tell people how to get in touch with you if they'd like to consider being a guest on. Your show. So we've been talking with Harry Johal all the way in Singapore. Uh, I didn't even have to get on an airplane. This is the wonders of technology. We've been talking about selling amongst the best seller, three things to need, you need to know. And what are those three things? Just to recap, we talked about creating awareness, expanding your reach into a new market, and then also getting a better deal by connecting with parts of the audience that might facilitate your business. And all of that can be achieved by tapping into uh, Harry's offer to consider being a guest on the show. So Harry, let me tell people how to get in touch with you. The show is called Carry On Harry Talk Show, uh, and you can visit the carryonharry.com website, and you can also write to Harry. It's very tricky. It's Harry Johal at carryonharry.com. So uh, Harry, it sounds like it's pretty easy for people to reach out and connect to you. Uh, if they do, what's the process for them being considered to be on the show? Well, they have to just send me the the work profile, uh, what they are doing, and you know what work they want to discuss on the show, and uh, probably if, if some interesting facts are there that they want to highlight about their book or about anything they are specialized in, like mind body training, you know something like connected to health, just uh, just introduce uh, you know your entire thing to me, and probably uh, I will look into the depths what maximum we can you know derive from the person's personality from the product itself. So it's like that. Excellent. So, if you're looking to create more awareness, if you want to consider expanding into a new market, if you're looking to potentially fetch a better deal, you want to get connected with Harry at uh, the Carry On Harry Talk Show. Harry, it has been wonderful having you on Expert Showcase today as our expert guest. Uh, appreciate you taking the time to join us and uh, look forward to continuing the relationship and talking with you and maybe even being on your show. Thank you, sir. And another great expert showcase episode, Chris. What should people do right now? Yeah, if you're watching this and you're a coach or consultant, imagine what it would do for you and your business if you were a guest on Experts Showcase. And here's the best part: other than other than possibly increasing your business, an appearance on Expert Showcase is free. We give you a copy of your episode so you can use as marketing collateral, and we give you a 
a coaching session to go along with it to, to tell you how you can best market your episode and other tips and tricks about your, your business. So what you want to do is head on over to expertshowcase.com, click on the big yellow apply button, and apply to be our next featured guest on the Expert Showcase. Now if you're a coach or consultant and you've already imagined what having your own internet talk show will do for you, then we want you to head to videocontent.agency and check us out, check our packages out, and get in contact with us. Let's see if we're a good fit, and let's see if we're the ones to produce you and make you the next star and have your own internet talk show. And until next time, uh, Mark, anything else? I couldn't have said it any better, so uh, just do what he said.